Greetings, everyone. Uh, I wish to thank um, Dr. Adli um, Romeo Bainus for uh, inviting me. Uh, he is the chair of the um, International Virtual Conference on Creative Technology and Virtual Arts 2021, and to all academics and participants uh, of this conference. I would also like to thank people who have been very helpful in getting me through this videography uh, session. And I hope you will have um, time listening to the presentation. And let me now go to the briefs of the presentation. The briefs of the presentation is divided into uh, sections. One is introduction, uh, by which I will be speaking about universities embracing multidisciplinary and multi-pronged academic research, and of Sabah's traditional dance and music research augmenting Malaysia's ethnographical compendiums on traditional and or indigenous dance, index citations of ethnoscientific analysis in the Web of Science, WOS journals, comprising of the Science Citation Index, the SCI, Social Sciences Citation Index, SSI, and the Arts and Humanities Citation Index, AHD. From then on, I'll be talking about Glocal, the issue of glocal, global and local trajectories by defining what glocal is, leveraging glocal academic research, and talking about epistemological break uh, in the way uh, research of the glocal trajectories. Now, following that, I will also be talking about contextualizing glocal trajectories by looking at multidisciplinary approaches and securing some thoughts on performance studies cultural performance, and choreomusicology. And after that, I will also present in the outcome, my expectation, or by looking at the aims of global research trajectories and of the 21st century research practices in which theory, practice, and practice. That will end with a conclusion. And the conclusion will, uh, will dwell upon embracing global trajectories in internalizing Sabah's dance and music research, looking at practice as research, practice-led and research-led methodologies, leveraging access to research contents and generating indexes. So that is uh, the brief of the presentation. I would like now to go into introduction, but before I do that, I'd like to remind everyone that the text of my presentation is on the slide, so please follow me so that I won't be, I won't be talking uh, without context with you guys. So here we go with the it has been the norm for universities today to embrace global academic research that has increasingly become multidisciplinary and multi-pronged, centered around contribution with a set of explicitly named research questions that address gaps in prior research by strategizing hypotheses, goals, or aims, as well as approaches and theories. Within the corpus of humanities and social sciences, performing arts, music, and cultural studies, Sabah's traditional dance and music research have collectively augmented Malaysia's ethnographical compendiums of traditional and or indigenous dance and music studies at tertiary institutions and government agencies. However, the trend of researching for performance narratives or discoursing on specific dance or music genres, which represents excerpts of ritual practices, and folk repertoires intended to enlighten broader readership of strange or exotic dance and music have its limitations. Most of the primary research remained as local narratives, supplemented from secondary materials, either from colonial or in combining with indigenous records. By the final decades of the 20th century, attempts to engage international dance and music scholarship in Malaysia became more apparent when new research trajectories with cross-disciplinary approaches were utilized. Performance studies, critical theories, gender studies, ethnomusicology, ethnochoreology were introduced to engage global and local or global research trajectories. These researchers engage a broader spectrum of social scientists, ranging from folklorists, ethnomusicologists, ethnochoreologists, data studies, anthropologists, and sociologists, addressing practical problems by people from diverse disciplinary backgrounds 
or authors knowing how to frame their research publication around a central contribution for larger, for large multidisciplinary journals for the purpose of gaining index citation of ethnoscientific analysis in the web of science, WOS journals, comprising of the Science Citation Index, SCI, Social Science Citation Index, SSCI, and the Arts and Humanities Citation Index, SCI. Now, having said that as a preamble to, we would like to now look into the idea or the concept of GLOCAL, that is the global and local trajectory. Um, Malaysian dance and music researchers today are privileged to have access to unlimited internet resources to procure online publications published in indigenous and modern languages. Equally accessible are their memberships in international acad and academic organizations, such as the International Council for Traditional Music, Society for Ethnomusicology, Ford, or Congress on Research in Dance, PSI, Performance Studies International, ISME, International Society for Music Education, ITI, UNESCO, or International Theatre Institute, UNESCO, WDA, World Dance Alliance, PIOF, International Organizations of Folklore Festivals and Folk Arts, and many more. Their affiliation with such international organizations have greatly influenced their perspectives and perceptions on dance and music research, which are no longer anchored in conventional trajectories of diachronic, synchronic analysis, comparative studies, cross-cultural discourses, or reconstructing repertoires. Analytical discourses of this nature inevitably bring the local researchers into the crucibles of global issues in dance and music studies through a global approach. Local, by definition, reflects both local and global considerations to present global knowledge within local context. It encapsulates the notion of globalization combining the idea of globalization and localization to refer to scholarly research and publication that is developed for a global distribution but adjusted to accommodate local and international readership. In the context of traditional dance and music research in Sabah, it is perhaps necessary for STFUMS to leverage local academic research to reflect both local and global considerations by presenting global knowledge of ethnographical research within the local context to reflect the society in which it exists, incorporating individual, cultural, and stylistical elements in an ever-changing kaleidoscope that draws from and contributes to artistic, social, religious, cultural, and even political realms. In other words, the researcher does an epistemological break in examining dance and music it through the trajectories of postmodernist and post-structural studies that are no longer hierarchical or binary. Instead, studies on the performing sound and bodies where live performance empathic physical presence has the capacity to remind viewers and readers of the critical forms of cultural coded behavior in culturally constructed sound and movement system highlighted and viewed as locus of significations and as method of inquiry. This will perhaps bring research on Sabah's traditional dance and music at ASTIV UMS toward citational indexes in the web of science or WOS journals for local and international recognition. Now, the journey towards embracing uh, global, uh, which is a combination of global and local trajectories, uh, has to now come into the contextualization of those trajectories. And hence, uh, we shall see what I think of it. Research in dance and music of Sabah should contextualize global trajectories through multidisciplinary approaches. Scholars such as Richard Schreckner and Victor Turner, for example, have introduced performance studies and anthropology in evaluating the shifts to textuality mediation and resistance to produce a new set of formal and functional models within performance studies. Performance studies is an interdisciplinary field of research that draws from the social sciences, the humanities and the arts, 
It focuses on the per pervasiveness of performance as a central element of social and cultural life, including not only theater, dance, and music, but also such forms in sacred rituals and practices of everyday life, including storytelling, oral tradition, avant-garde performance arts, popular entertainments, micro-constructions of ethnicity, race, class, sex, and gender, nonverbal communication, i.e. potentially any instances of expressive behavior of cultural enactment. Within this field, performance entails the presentation of a reactualization of symbolic system through both living and mediated bodies when theories in the social sciences, such as linguistics, uh, anthropology, and sociology, began to employ cultural performance as a model for studying uses of language, ritual, and everyday interaction. Victor Turner developed a theory of social drama to understand ritual processes in resolving conflicts and crises in agrarian African communities which eventually became one of the many multidimensional approaches to the imic or insider's perspective of reconstructing of dance and music research. In this context, imic view of culture focuses on the intrinsic cultural distinctions that are meaningful to the members of a given society, often considered to be an insider's perspective. Hence, it's important for indigenous research on traditional dance and music Arts and social sciences have also converged to produce and formalize the field of cultural performance by providing a perspective for framing and analyzing social, personal, and communicative phenomena, while the social sciences provided conceptual tools for theorizing the social and psychological dimensions of performance. More specifically, these have provided a formal model for identifying and describing cultural performances across the landscape of social life, while ritual, as in Sabah's dance and music traditions, may provide a functional model to understand the role these activities might play in even wider social processes. Through these processes and working across disciplinary traditions, a community of dedicated researchers from UMS ASTIF may emerge to redefine cultural performance as being performative. I refer to Austin and Jean-Francois Letroit, attributing to performative behavior as an action taken specifically with an audience in mind to elicit a response or reaction. For example, teams of researchers may apply multidisciplinary approaches on Iga Lelang and Tagungu Ensemble of the Bajau Sama, or Pangalai and Kulintangan Ensemble of the Tausuk and the Suluk, Mongigo Sumandai and the Gong Ensemble of the Rungus, Magunatip and Rhythmic Bamboo Poles of the Murut, and Sumazao of Kadazandusun with its ephemeral connections to Bamba Zon or Spirit of Paddy, to name a few. Following such definition of cultural performance, research on Sabah's dance and music may elucidate the emic view from global trajectories where, I quote, occasions in which as a culture or society we reflect upon and define ourselves, dramatize our collective myth and history, present ourselves with alternatives, and eventually change in some ways while remaining the same in others. Macaloon, 1984. This definition identifies three functions that scholars have regularly attributed to cultural performance. Number one, social and self-reflection through the dramatization of embodiment of symbolic forms. Two, the presentation of alternative embodiments. And three, the possibility for conservation or transformation of both individuals and society. Seeking to define cultural performances not simply as enter entertainment, scholars of traditional dance and music of style may stress what Shatner called the efficacy of performance, that it is its a capability to fit back into and transform social life. Another current global trajectory for traditional dance and music research is choreomusicology, 
which discusses the study of music and dance relationship with ethnomusicology and ethnochoreology or dance ethnology. Although recognition of the significance of music and dance or dance and music relationships has been present in the fields of ethnomusicology and ethnochoreology since their disciplinary articulation in the 1950s and 1960s, the scope of this area of inquiry and just how to name it has varied over time and context of application. At least since the mid-1990s, the term choreomusical seems to have emerged to characterize investigations that encompass the joint phenomenon of musicking. Musicking is any activity involving or related to music performance, such as performing, listening, rehearsing, or composing. And dancing as unitary performance. I quote from Quigley, 2016. Colin Quigley, in his writing 2016, opined that the publication of choreomusicological perspectives on maritime Southeast Asian performing arts, uh, written by me, edited by me and Kendra Seputa in 2017, would appear to establish choreomusicological within the ethnomusicological and ethnochoreological mainstream in Southeast Asia. Choreomusicology in this publication aptly applies the non-binary, non-dichotomous aspects of performing arts in most parts of maritime Southeast Asia, which are seen as an entity where music and dance, sound and movement, acoustic and tactile elements intermingle and complement one another. Although the term choreomusical musical is generally attributed to Paul Hodgins in 1992, the most prolific advocates of choreomusicology are Inger Dumshot, 1999, Daphne Jordan, 2011, and Paul Mason, 2012. Colin Quigley stated that the editors of the above-mentioned publication cited their general aim to, quote, quote, to suggest an alternative, unquote, to the continuing scholarly and academic separation of music and dance study, heralding choreomusicology as a new holistic field of study that combines the study of music and dance and puts the relationship itself into the focus of research. The above mentioned discussions have shown the need to incorporate Sabah's performing arts as an entity, where music and dance, sound and movement, acoustic and tactile elements intermingle and complement each other. Although this fact is widely known and referenced, most scholarly works in traditional dance and music in Sabah so far have either focused on music or dance, rather than treating the two in combination. This discussion gives an overview of various global trajectories in movement sound relations and offer for the first time a thorough study of the phenomenon that is considered essential for the performing arts in Sabah, the inseparability of movement and sound. Now, we have now gone through the contextualization of local trajectories. Why are we drawing this? I guess the reason for it is because we need to have an outcome. So my discussion of the outcome goes as such. The aims of applying local research trajectories based on multidisciplinary approach on Sabah's traditional dance and music research are to leverage publications, the index, in the citations of the Web of Science, WOS, to explicitly internationalize Sabah's traditional dance and music research and to implicitly stimulate multidisciplinary and multi-pronged approaches to dance and music research in Sabah. The dilemma for dance and music scholars in, in Sabah has been that much of the current scholarly discourse continues to frame itself in terms of dyadic and bounded categories such as ritual secular, male-female, or music dance. In terms of provenance and time, dyadic categories are not entirely capable for a holistic or totalized critique of Sabah's traditional dance and music research and studies in the 21st century. The prevailing research perspectives and methodologies derive from 20th century Western European sensibilities that argue for the efficacy of categories invoked by single performance medium deprives scholars from examining performative elements 
they are wholesome and local. In reality, traditional dance and music in Sabah manifests a combination of all the performative elements. Hence, competencies in both types of performance are inseparable. The current study of performance oriented towards single medium, dance or music, and mono disability perspectives should be re-examined re for a 21st century understanding of practices and developments in Sabah performing arts. To address this, it's crucial for current researchers of Sabah traditional dance and music to embark on a global approach by examining three major domains to understand performance of dance and music as interrelated and cohesive entities. Ricardo Trimillos, in his publication in 2017, suggested that to encounter both parallel and overlapping descriptive and analytical discourses generated by inseparable entities of dancing and musicking, researchers should look into theory, which is the reflective codification, praxis, established modes of operation, and practice, behaviors specific to a performance event. For example, the Igal Bola Bola performance of Bajau Sama could be examined by using three domains of inquiries. Reflective codification theory, that's theory of Igal Bola Bola, may examine the specific tunes such as Titik Tabawan, Lubak Lubak, or Titik Limbayan, played by the Tanggunggung Ensemble consisting of a gong row instrument, the Kulintangan, a pair of agong, hanging gongs, and a tambul, a tambur, double-headed cylindrical drum performing, quote, repeated drone-like cycles of rhythmic and melodic phrases providing a cycle and structure to continuous circular arm and wrist movement, unquote. This is from Santayela, 2017. The skillful female performers uses bola bola, a bamboo or wooden cashnet, to weave curvilinear arm movements while punctuating interlocking rhythmic beats with the cashnet. This is praxis, or established modes of codification. The performer improvises pre-arranged concepts of designs in the form of floor plans, kinesthetic use of space, and mid-body accentuation, such as shimmering of shoulders, flexing and folding of fingers, intricate footwork, bending and turning of torso, etc., as personal signatures that are culturally accepted within the indigenous terminologies by the community of dancers. This is practice or behavior specific to a performance event. Ideally, this paradigm not only takes into account theory, practice, and practice categories discussed above, but the image interrelationships of performer, music, and dance that are desirable and incidental. The shared aesthetics of Igal and Tagungu are inseparable ent entities of musicking essential to the collective memories of the Bajau Sama extent tradition, presentation, and representation in form and function. So I have um, given you a journey from how local trajectories are to be utilized and how it could be used by local researchers by looking at these issues of theory, practice, and practice. So if indeed we can do that, then I think the idea of internalizing research on traditional dance in Sabah will become very real. I would like to conclude uh, by saying that to embrace local trajectories in internalization of Sabah's traditional dance and music research, there is a need to focus on artistic practice within the fields of Sabah's performing arts, involving the study and development of forms of the investigations through relevant research questions, methods, and interrogative inquiries through the approaches of practice as research, practice-led, research-led methodologies. The goal is to bring together different views, evidence, and facts about a topic from primary sources, uh, where you feel research or creative works or performances, and from secondary sources, of course, books, articles, interviews, to be interpreted by the collaborative team of researchers based on multiple global trajectories into scholarly publications. It is about a relationship between the research team and the fields of traditional dance and music 
for citational recognition in referred publication journals, books, and even in local and international rankings, uh, journal in my journal, Malaysian Journal Management, in Scopus and WOS, to leverage increased access to the contents of Sabah traditional dance and music research to the global community. This will improve the visibility of contents of research undertaken by ASTIF UMS scholars, hence encouraging usage and generating citations to articles published. Internal, internalizing Sabah's research and dance and music through global, global research trajectories focuses on the pervasiveness of performance as a central element of social and cultural life including not only dance and music, but also such forms as sacred rituals and practice of everyday life, of micro-constructions of ethnicity, race, class, sex, and gender, heritage festival, non-verbal communications, or any potential events of expressive and performative cultural events. Within this field, research on Sabah's traditional dance and music will entail the presentation of quote-unquote reactualization of symbolic systems through both living and mediated bodies in tandem with global trajectories that would bring international acclaim to the corpus of publication from ASTIF. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end, I would like to share the references that I have gone through in producing this um, presentation. Uh, in the next slide, you will see I have listed the uh, references, and these are references that uh, you can see here on, 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 on the slides from Austin, Damshall, Hoggins, all the way down to Mason, my own publication, uh, Colin Quigley, Miko Santayela, Richard Stegner, all the way down to Ricardo Trimulus. These uh, references have provided me uh, the corpus of this course. And with that, I thank you all very, very much. God bless.